Okay, I want to do one more uh, video segment on some uh, uh, issues with the 1D property of beams. So uh, let me go ahead and make uh, actually uh, uh, a sketch in space. So I go there, uh, start with the part file. Okay. And then on a convenient plane, for example, on that vertical plane, I'll draw a sketch. So perhaps uh, something like this. The actual shape is totally irrelevant. Okay. And uh, let me act let me actually uh, make a uh, an arc there. So uh, where is it? Or another one. Oh, there. Okay. Delete this. Good. Exit. Now, this is not a wireframe. This is a sketch that I have created. So, if I'm going to mesh this thing with beam element, I need to join it. All right. Let's apply material to it. Aluminum on that part. Okay. Now we're going to go and mesh this. So because we joined it, because we joined it, no problem. When we go mesh it, it's going to be done in one shot. Okay. If this was a wireframe and we had not joined it, then you have to mesh each line or each segment separately. So here's the beam mesher on that sketch and uh, I don't know I'll make a small uh, I don't know point point uh, maybe point one okay so you can look at the the mesh and it's right there so these are all different elements and node numbers in space okay if you zoom in you see the element number further zoom in you see the element number and the node numbers that are surrounding it, okay? It's kind of hard to see it right there. Element 81 between node 85 and 84. That's okay. Now, deactivate this. Now, in, in my class, I've told people that if you join a sketch, uh, you, when you, when you apply a section property on it, it's all going to be the same. And I kept saying that that is not true, but in the context of what we do in the class, there's only so much that can be said. So uh, let me tell you what I have in mind. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's first of all make it a cylindrical. And let's assume they're all cylindrical. Uh, and let's give it some radius. So for example, 0.5, okay. And then we say, uh, select the, the sketch. Okay, there we are. You see this? Right there. And then we say, okay. Now, because we joined this, you mesh, when you mesh it, it's all done at the same time. And when you apply a section property on it, it's all taking the same information. However, so this is the part that I never <laughs> say in class, because I say this is, but I'm telling you that they're all going to be the same shape, same size. It's a lie. If you say right click, local, right click of the property, local 1D property, now you can go and select pieces. So if I go and select this, and for example, give it a different cross section, maybe point 0.2, you see? It is no longer, it overwrites this, overwrites this section that I originally put on that particular line. And then right click, local property, for example, on this one, and even I can change the, uh, the, shape, the shape of it. Uh, for example, I can make it tubular, and it's going to have, say, point 
one and uh, inside radius point uh, I don't know maybe o9 if you zoom in closer you see that actually it shows you a tube right there so that particular that particular uh, segment has a different actually shape. Uh, let's try something else. Right click, property. Let's make it a say a rectangular. Uh, maybe point uh, two by point two. And then you select this. Actually, it puts a rectangle of size 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. Now, of course, you have to orient it properly because right now uh, you need an orientation point for that. So let me see if, uh, well, yeah, it, it, it turned it around so that perhaps it's what you want. Or this, this may not be a, a good point for the orientation depending on what you want. My point is that joining does not mean that that particular piece that you have joined uh, must have all the same properties. Uh, you can actually go and do local property. This also applies to surfaces. So for example, let me do an example for a surface. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this. Uh, okay, so let's actually do this. Uh, all right, uh, let's take this situation and uh, if I extrude that, if I extrude that because of the fact that it's coming from extrusion of a sketch, uh, it's all going to be, uh, it's already one surface. But uh, I want to show you something here. Oops. What does it say? Uh, let's see. Profile, join, uh, Z component. Oh, actually X, what I meant was X, not Z. Right. Okay, so uh, right there. Now, I don't have to join these because it came from a sketch. When you extrude a sketch, it's already uh, one surface. So joining it or not joining it is not going to make a difference. But the point is this. If I go to uh, generative structure analysis, because this is all one surface, because this is all one surface, you can mesh it uh, the whole thing at once. So right there, okay? So in fact, you can see that here's the way to mesh it. If these were surfaces that were not joined, you would have to mesh each surface uh, one by one. Just give it one second. Well, my computer went to a state of coma, and uh, it's it's going to come back right there. Okay, so uh, change this thing to right right there. Okay, so deactivate this. Now, if I apply a thickness because this is a single surface, look, it says point one, and put on this, and every single surface that you see here. However, if you go there. And you right click, it says local 2D property. So you can select it and you select, for example, this piece and you can make a different thickness. So uh, uh, maybe 0.1. This piece, we have a thickness of point, uh, wait a minute, what did I have here? 0.1, just a second. So we'll make it 0.5. There. So the original was 0.1, this is 0.5. And for example, one more time, uh, another one, local property, another one, this one, I can make it 0.05. You see, they can have different thicknesses. <sighs> yeah, so it is not true that if you join surfaces or you have a single surface, this was not joined, but it acted like a joint surface, they all will have the same thick thickness. Now, <laughs> the way I, I teach this to the student is that I say don't join because you cannot change the 
uh, uh, change the thickness. Uh, but I also immediately say, well, that's a lie. And if you want to know how, come and see me or, uh, I mean, based on their own initiative to go and look at the, uh, look at uh, some of these video clips, which is on YouTube. Uh, if you don't join these, then you may have to, your job is going to be more complicated because you have to create connection between these faces, these edges, uh, so that they see each other, otherwise uh, it's totally...